Hey, Adam here with theaeroparts.com. This 2001 Saab 95 is struggling to get up to temperature, and for me that means one thing, a thermostat. I'm going to replace the thermostat in this with an OE Motorrad unit. Hopefully that will solve our problem. You do not want to drive around with a bad thermostat because that means your car is struggling to get to temp. Your ECU is always on its warm-up cycle, and that is bad for your engine. Uh, your car will be running rich, you'll get poor fuel economy, and it'll just, it's just not a good thing to have. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. With the car safely on jack stands, go ahead and remove what little hardware you probably have left holding your air shield on. That way we can get to the, um, the petcock on the radiator, which is uh, step one. So if you look up into here, you can see the drain petcock. There it is. So what you're gonna do, it comes out right here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some pliers and you're going to open that up. All right, with the coolant more or less drained out, it doesn't have to be completely drained because we're gonna be working on the top of the engine. Uh, replace the petcock. Replace the air shield. Slowly lower the car down to the ground. Whoa. All right, we will have the pleasure or mispleasure of working down in here to the next to the engine. You can see the top of the coolant hose going into the block or uh, the cylinder head. Um, and this is our reservoir, or our uh, thermostat housing. There are two bolts that hold on the thermostat housing and there's two 10 millimeter bolts holding a stay and an electrical connection or electrical ground to the outside of it. So go ahead and remove the uh, 10 millimeter um, bolts that hold uh, those ancillary bits on. So we got two 10 millimeters and two 13 millimeters. Should be able to pop this thing off. All right, to finish it off, the thing is gonna be well and stuck in there. So use a screwdriver and just sort of jam it into the thermostat to leverage it out. Here we are. This is a, a old looking motor ad. Um, can't really tell if a thermostat's bad by just looking at it, so um, we're just gonna go ahead and replace it anyway. All right, this part is important. So there's a little air valve here that um, helps the system self-bleed, and it always has to be um, facing upwards. If it's upside down, then you'll definitely have some problems. So make sure when it goes into the cylinder head, uh, you want this uh, tiny little valve to um, always be facing up. Um, once you have it seated, then you can go ahead and put in the two main mounting bolts. Now you can replace the electrical ground and the stay uh, onto the outside of the thermostat housing. All right, we'll do one final check to make sure everything is tight and in place. And uh, you should be good to go. The cooling system on the Saab 95 takes about two gallons of coolant, which uh, in this case is a 50-50 fill between water and uh, GM Dex Cool. Your cooling system in general will be more efficient if you have a little bit more water than uh, antifreeze in it. So that's something to keep in mind.
All right, when the bubbles stop, you're going to turn the engine on and uh, let the bleeding process begin. At one point, it's going to um, burp up uh, a big bunch of bubbles as it all settles down, and then uh, we will top off uh, to finish. You'll already see the uh, coolant level start to drop. Uh, so it'll take a little while. Uh, while you do that, you can go ahead and check and make sure there are no leaks in the, uh, the work that you just did about around the uh, thermostat. So everything looks good here. Help the process along by uh, squeezing the coolant hoses going into the radiator. Um, if you sort of squish it around and um, you can dislodge some bubbles that are hanging around, which is what we're trying to get rid of in this bleeding process. I just went for a, a quick spin around the block and you can see that air bubbles are still pouring out of that top hose. That vent hose goes straight to the top of the radiator. Uh, so this will take a little bit of time to fully bleed off. Uh, so be patient. Um, let the engine cool down after you feel all of the bubbles have stopped coming out of the top of the radiator and back into the uh, coolant reservoir and uh, top up as necessary. Um, I hope that helped you do a thermostat. Sorry, it's kind of hard to actually show what's going on back there. You do most of the job by sense of feel. Um, but otherwise, uh, I think we did a successful thermostat on this 9.5 and it is uh, ready for winter use.